Even though a huge underground fire is out tonight, trouble in the tenderloin continues. Good evening. I'm Alan Wong. That fire in a PG&E electrical vault has left an area bordered by Ellis Street, Van Ness Avenue, Gary Street, and Larkin Street off limits to anyone who doesn't live there. Tonight, ABC 7's Lillian Kim is there live. Lillian? Alan, even people who live in the affected area must be escorted back to their homes. That's because PG&E crews are at the explosion site. They're trying to figure out what caused one of their underground vaults to go up in flames. They are still waiting to go underground. PG&E says it's still too hot to enter. It was around 11.30 a.m. when people near Polk and McAllister Streets first heard a loud noise. They then saw black smoke billowing into the sky. Moviegoers at AMC Theaters were instructed to leave the building. For San Francisco firefighters, the task of putting the fire out was a bit of a challenging one. Crews started using carbon dioxide, but PG&E hadn't completely shut off the power below. Suddenly, there was an even bigger explosion. They shut down uh, the D.C. across the whole city, but apparently there was another feeder, and so it, it kicked back up. So I was scared, nervous, felt like I was going to die. I wanted to get out. Pan panic, panic when the lights went out. Paranoia. Residents were told to shelter in place in case the smoke was toxic. Turned out much of what was burning was mineral oil, far less dangerous than what was feared. Still, as many as 8,600 customers had to cope without power, including many businesses that lost a day of revenue. Last we heard, some 2,000 customers are still without power. PG&E hopes to have most people back online overnight. Live in San Francisco, Lillian Kim, ABC7 News. Now, these vault fires have been a big problem in San Francisco over the past several years. This one in February of 2007 blew off a manhole cover near Union Square. A similar story with this one in July of 2003, also near Union Square. Most of the vault fires and explosions have spared pedestrians in the area, but this one in August of 2005 seriously injured a woman. She was passing uh, by Crocker Galleria when flames shot up from underground and badly burned her.